Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is a little bit of a wild one. We've got some snow pushing in and we decided to come out, Boomer and I, with the truck and the rooftop tent set up and of course the diesel heater. So we've got the tent set up. The snow doesn't look like it's gonna let up anytime soon. It's total whiteout. Visibility's not very far, but we are perched up on top of a hill with a freshwater lake right behind us and some nice pine trees and spruce poking out of the fog in a little bit. So Boomer's running around playing in the snow. I'm still trying to set up the inside of the tent. I've still got chair, table, and food, and all that stuff to get set up inside as well as up top. So let's get to work.
All right, guys, I've got a cup of hot coffee on the go right now, and it is freezing, freezing, freezing cold. So this is a snowstorm rolling in. It's supposed to go down to about negative 10, negative 11 degrees Celsius later on this evening. And I'm basically going to be hunkering inside of this tent. I don't think I want to do a whole lot of outdoor venturing around. My pants are already soaked. My gloves are soaked. My jacket is... Uh, quite wet my big down jacket that I'm leaning on right now needs to dry out and uh, it is wet 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 out there windy we're in the open exposed here um, just not a good idea to be walking around out there in the snow getting totally soaked now I do have a full change of clothes I do have the alcohol stove here which is still burning so I can warm up my hands very briefly and I did bring the diesel heater. So I'm going to be bringing Jackery inside here with the diesel heater, running the tube upstairs. So once I do go in the tent for the night, I'll be totally, totally warm. Probably stripped down to my boxer shorts, to be totally honest. That thing gets really hot up there. So I'm just going to have to tough it out until then. Boomer is upstairs in the tent right now. He's rolled up in the sleeping bag, getting nice and warm. And I'm basically going to have this hot coffee and basically just kind of relax for a few moments it is getting darker out i can see looking out through the tent door that it is starting to fade with the light but the snow is not letting up so finish up this coffee and then bring in some food items i have some chicken breast and a whole bunch of things that i want to make basically a big pot of soup so yeah it's going to be kind of a hangout video just kind of out here in the wilderness hunker down this time and just relax and i got a couple updates i'll share with you guys a little later on but for now hot coffee and cold, cold snow and cold wind. it is now time to start cooking supper it is almost total dark outside I brought the diesel heater inside the vestibule area got it configured the wires attached and the outlet attached brought it back over to the tailgate topped off the tank with some diesel fuel which is where it's going to stay for the night I've got the cord and the vent routed upstairs through the window I'll show you that later on this evening when we do make our way up there uh, but I'm basically going to be saving battery life and diesel fuel I could run the hose down here and pump in hot air from below, 
There is a gap along the bottom of the tent that is almost sealed up with all the snow that's falling off, but it just wouldn't be effective. It wouldn't heat this area enough. So I'm just gonna sit in my jacket and freeze until I'm ready to go upstairs. Uh, Boomer's still up there. He is basically done for the day, I think. Uh, we'll see him a little later on as well. So for supper, what I've got going on here is I brought two chicken breasts, I brought some rice, I brought some vegetables, a whole bunch of stuff. So basically I'm gonna be doing like a chicken soup with rice instead of chicken noodle soup. So I've got the frying pan over here. I gotta get some oil in that, get the alcohol stove fired up again, start cooking the chicken breast, and then we'll work over towards the pot and get everything situated in there. And have a nice hot meal, because that is what I need. I am absolutely soaked. I'm shivering, I'm shaking, my socks are wet, shoes, pants, boxers, gloves, jackets, everything absolutely soaked. And I am just counting down the minutes until I can crawl upstairs, crank that diesel heater on, and get totally changed in a dry clothes. But until then, let's get cracking on this hot soup and eat, and then make our way upstairs. Alright, so I got the chicken cooking in the pan and the wind is kicking up something crazy. So I gotta keep an eye on this wall here because it's actually blowing in. I could move the table, but I think I'm just gonna try and leave it there for now and hope for the best. So in here I brought some vegetables from home and they're not frozen yet, but they are getting a little cold. So I got some green spinach. I brought two pieces of French bread to go with my soup. I've got a pack of already cooked rice that just needs to be heated up. 
and I have some soup mix here. So I actually brought cream of leek soup. I also brought two packs of miso. So I have an option whether I want to do a cream soup or a miso based soup. I think I'm going to go with cream of leek with the chicken and the rice. That seems like it'll work out a lot better. Uh, and then inside of this container, I have some fresh vegetables. I've got two carrots, a mushroom, a white onion, bok choy, and a little bag of minced garlic. So I'm going to prep all this up and get it ready in the pot, get that chicken cooked up, get that off, get the pot on, and heat it up. And if you guys can't tell, I am shivering and shaking, absolutely freezing cold on this one. Not a pleasant time, I will say that, but I'm just counting down, like I said earlier on. Get up there inside, get that diesel heater cranked on, and get nice and warm because it is absolutely cold down here right now. And being soaking wet is not fun. So, tough it out for now, get this cooked up, and enjoy a hot meal. Hot soup is ready. So everything cooked down inside of the pot. Got my two pieces of bread here. And this is definitely gonna be an enjoyable meal to warm up to because I am frozen, 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 frozen. So one thing did happen. I had to stand holding the pot over the alcohol stove literally the entire time it cooked because this little leg right here broke off. So. There used to be three folding legs. Now there's only two. The weight of the pot and these pieces of metal getting hot basically gave way. So that wasn't very enjoyable, holding the pot the entire time over the alcohol stove, but it worked. And this is what I'm left with. A nice hot soup. Loads of chicken in there, vegetables. Now I did split the chicken. I gave a bunch of the boomer up top in the tent. He was snacking on that. So he's had food. I am definitely going to enjoy this. I'm shivering and shaking as I'm sitting here trying to talk. So this looks really good. Everything in here, it's starting to thicken up really nice too, that cream of leek, soup base and the rice, carrots, everything's cooked up nicely. So I'm gonna enjoy this hot dinner, some bread, and I will see you guys up top as soon as I'm done. Mm. All right guys, moving up inside of the rooftop tent. It is crazy windy out right now. 
the tent is flapping all over the place and the wind is blowing that snow like crazy. So there is a little tiny bit of snow actually making its way in through some of these vents. I'm gonna let it clog itself up and I'm hoping once the heat gets pumping in here, it'll start to almost melt that snow and freeze into kind of an ice layer. I do have one window over here opened up for a little bit of ventilation to cut down on condensation. The diesel heater is on and is cranked to the maximum heat output, even though right now it doesn't feel like it to me because I just came up here, just got changed. So I'm in my down pants, I've got my slippers on, my shirt and sweater are what I was wearing outside, so it's still damp and quite cold. But I'm gonna wear it and kind of sit next to the diesel heater output, that way it'll dry out while it's on me. My other jacket and all my other clothing are up here. I'm gonna hang that basically up on these little tie outs everywhere. So I'm gonna have clothing all over the place. I just didn't wanna do it now because it's gonna be really hard to film with clothing hanging all over the place. So once the camera gets shut off, everything's gonna get hung up. My shoes are absolutely soaking wet. So I'm gonna try and tie those up here somewhere or possibly even put the output of the heater inside of one of the shoes, do one at a time and have them nice and dry because otherwise they will freeze solid overnight, which is not gonna be good. I do have a couple of snacks and things up here. I also brought my indoor outdoor slippers. So I'm gonna be throwing these on instead of my shoes for bathroom breaks if I gotta run outside. They have a rubber sole so I can throw them on, run outside, come back in. Other than that, it is cold and windy and I'm happy to be upside here inside of the tent. So I'm gonna be relaxing tonight. Uh, Boomer is basically, he's done. He was inside of the sleep mag. I had to get him out there just to make sure he's still breathing. But he is itching to go back inside of there, probably curl up next to the output of the heater, I imagine. But um, earlier on, I did mention an update. That update is no, Kendra has not had the baby yet. I've been getting asked a lot of questions. Has your wife given birth to your son yet? And no, but the day is coming very, very, very soon. So by the time this video goes up, it might have already happened. Stay tuned on the channel for some community posts and updates and we'll definitely be putting that up there on our channel and this channel. So definitely check out both channels and uh, soon enough he'll be here. So that is a little bit of an update for you guys. I have cleaned up downstairs as well. So once I get up in the morning, I'll be able to run down, fire up the stove and make some hot coffee. And this wind, I got a feeling is gonna kick up something nasty tonight. So. We're gonna ride this out, this little snowstorm, and stay nice and warm up here. So I'm gonna say good night to you guys. And I'll see you first thing in the morning. Good night, everybody.
Good morning, everybody. It is a frigid, cold, snowy morning out here today, and I've got news for you. So last night, it started getting really, really windy out. The snow did not let up. I went outside for two bathroom breaks, and the snow was blowing around like crazy. I had to top off the diesel heater tank one time. It was only down to about three quarter. So I just topped it off. Right now it's still floating at about half a tank. So this entire trip, we would have gone through almost three quarters of a tank of diesel. The Jackery 1000 upstairs is still at 70 to 72%. I've got the heat cranked up there still just in case Boomer needs to go up there. I'm also gonna need to go up there, get changed and pack some things away. So it's nice to have warm fingers while I'm doing that. But last night got down to about negative 10, negative 11 degrees Celsius. I was in my boxers and just a long sleeve shirt. It was that hot up there. I turned it down to speed number one while I went to sleep. Woke up this morning, totally, totally warm. Absolutely hot up there. And coming outside, still cold. I wanna say it's probably about negative eight, negative seven degrees Celsius possibly. The temperature probe on the diesel heater reads temperature, but it doesn't read accurately. It's saying plus one degree Celsius, which is way off. So I wanna say it's about negative eight, somewhere in that ballpark. But this morning, beautiful sunrise, moody clouds out here. All the trees, I'm just looking past the camera right now and all the pines and spruces are just dusted nice and lightly with some fresh powder snow. Now somebody did drive by early this morning out in this backcountry area. There's fresh tire tracks probably about four or five hours ago maybe. I thought I heard something upstairs over the diesel heater but this deep, deep snow out here, big tires going through, you're not gonna hear too much of anything. So there are some fresh tracks, probably about 50 feet away from the tent. Didn't get bothered. They looked like they just drove through and took off. So pretty awesome night and a beautiful morning. So cheers everyone. Some hot coffee out here in this fresh snowfall after the storm last night it was awesome. So let's enjoy this and carry on with the day.
right guys, we've got everything packed up inside of the truck, the tent totally stowed away, everything in the tailgate situated. Boomer's cold and wet, so we're gonna jump inside of the truck, doing a warm up right now, still gotta scrape all the snow and ice off of it, get the tailgate closed, and we're gonna hit the road and get out of here. So thank you guys very much for joining us on this quick but snowy and cold adventure. And Boomer's beard is all snow covered, so we're gonna peace out, Catch you guys in the next episode.